Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And before we get to the test of the Madworks airbrush, a model M201, I want to show you some stuff that has just arrived. And uh, here in all our glory in front of us is the new Tamiya enamels in the little square jars, kind of like the testers jars. And um, these aren't available in America, where I live, so I ordered them from Poland. And... Um, a few hobby shops around. Everybody had recommendations. These guys had a good price. They ship. Man, I got these in a week from Poland. So they came right away. Just like in Europe, I got the the lacquers in like four days. So uh, it doesn't seem to really matter uh, which country. I've had more trouble with Canada, which is connected to America, than I've had with these uh, overseas shippings. But anyway, they were really cheap and um, really expensive. The shipping was reasonable. I think all these were in, in the, around 100 bucks, including shipping. Uh, you really couldn't go wrong. I'll put the link in the description. It's, this video isn't about these. I just want to show you that they had just come in. And I'll go over them in depth in an upcoming video when I test them, hopefully within the week. Now, uh, I'm going to pause this. And I'm going to show you some more items that I have in the room. All right. Also arriving recently, I got some more badgers. This is the Sotar, Sotar I guess, 2020. This is more for detailing. Nice black finish. The only problem I have is the cup is really small and uh, early tests show that this goes through paint quickly just like the other ones. But uh, you need to have a more of a gentle hand. I'm guessing I can adjust uh, the, le the length of pulling it back. So we'll see how that goes. We just started uh, looking at it quickly. Also got in this Chrome Renegade RK1 Chrome. This came in yesterday. Looking similarly to the uh, Patriot, it's got a different, oops, off camera hand, it's got a different grip here. And uh, this is a finer needle, and it has the protective cap too, which is great. So, that just came in, haven't even tested that yet. Also has the adjustable back. Alright, I'm going to pause the camera again, i got to show you my new reading light, it's up here. It's incredible, and... Um, Really helps the eyes too. I'll show you that when I'm done showing you this other stuff. Let me pause the camera and we're going to shift around to show you some more paint. Alright guys, here we are. I got these arranged in the booth under the light. Um, these are some uh, new colors from uh, Wicked Creatix Wicked Colors. And these are the Candy O paints that I um, just, as I reach across the room, I just started testing. And um, like the early results, so I went and got all of, all of what I needed to do the full testing, including their silver based primer they call it a silver sealer so i haven't even tried it on that yet that was just on regular silver i tested it and i got a bunch of colors we'll go over those when the time comes this is their new gloss and you thin the paints using this gloss um, it's a whole new system of uh prepping the paint so uh, we're going to be testing that out and oh, these are all their new pearl colors they've added because i guess the auto lineup Auto colors lineup phased out and they phased it into the wicked colors lineup. So I got a they got a whole bunch of new pearls. Beautiful colors. Just beautiful colors. You know, I'm I'm hoping uh to test these fairly soon for you guys. Look at that, a light blue pearl. You don't usually don't get a a, a pearl blue in that lighter shade. And uh without going crazy here, I just want to show you some of them. Charcoal. So that's that. Oh, and these came in. Look at this. These this is their uh quick silver. I'm guessing this is their chrome. We're going to be testing that out. And this is their gold chrome. So these that's why they come in a different shape, smaller bottle, and more money, which is usually the case with these chrome paints. But anyway, those just came in. I wanted to show you that. And let me show you one more lineup of paint as I pause the camera. And here I have my lineup of E7 paints. Um, I'll show you the brand here. E7. That's the name of the brand. And... Um, in choosing these, I chose unique colors that I don't really have. I didn't just get red and flat black in, in the normal. I, I got these crystal colors. Can you see that? I got these really unique uh, colors from them. Look at that. So, I don't want to say color shift, but they do have a special effect to them. And that's them. And then I got their metallics. Look at this. Pearl gold. Bright silver. You know, I got all, all the, I love all the metal colors. You know, guys know that from watching the channel and um, they also had these chromes which I'm really interested in chrome silver 
and shine chrome. So we'll, we'll see what the difference is on both, but check this out. Silver plating. I don't know what that is, but they all seem similar. But these have the shiny chrome covers. This one didn't. But look at this. I couldn't get this from my normal place. I think I got these at USA Hobby, uh, USA Gundam Store. Look, a chrome sealer, which I'm always curious to see how good some of these chrome sealers are. So far, they've been great. But when I saw they made one, I had to order this. I think this came out of Korea. I just wanted the one single bottle on eBay. And I, I want to test this out for sure. And I mean, I got some clear colors. Look at that clear blue. So uh, this is going to be a fun test. Clear black blue. How unique is that? And uh, anyway, like I said, this is really part of the test. I just wanted to uh, show you guys some of the new stuff that's come in. This is one of their lineups too. Element Chain. Look at that. So that is that. So let me get this all out of the way. I'll show you my new reading lamp, my working lamp, and then uh, off to the test. All right, guys, this is a little difficult to show you without holding the camera. I don't want to get too much shaky cam going, but this is my new light uh, from the company BenQ. I think that's how you say it, right, guys? Help me out here. B-E-N-Q, or just BenQ, or Benk. I don't know. Uh, anyway, they noticed uh, my um, my YouTube channel, and they asked me, would you like to test our uh, reading lamp out? I said, sure. And I didn't realize, when it came, I didn't realize it was this giant $200 reading lamp with this all-new technology um, that uh, I hope I can show you guys that can you see it? that does not strain your eyes at all and you can dial it you push this in and you can change the type of lighting that it is push it in again dial up the brightness all right you can put it anywhere but I've tested it for a few hours and my eyes are not strained at all this thing uh, really is amazing it's the, the base that it sits on all right this thing's like 10, 15 pounds. And the, the package itself, I'll show you, is like three feet by two that it came in. And um, check out this, t see this ring right here? Hold on, guys, let me get the camera for you. You just touch this ring anywhere, and it turns off on a sloft. That's the on-off switch, believe it or not. You just touch this ring again, and she comes on. And uh, depending on the brightness in the room, you can adjust this. You know, I got it turned up for the camera. And then you can change it to that warm glow. See it? If you guys can see it on there. And um, there you go. And then it goes to that bright, uh, pure blue look, which I, doesn't seem to strain my eyes. So this is the one I usually stick with. Um, it's not just LEDs. I'm trying to read up on the technology. It's all new lighting technology. And uh, it must be something because I get no eye strain at all. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the box this thing came in. Let me switch the camera around. There you guys. There's the box it came in. And it's giant. I mean, in the background, you can see some of my kits. And um, it's big. It's almost three feet tall, and it was heavy, too. Um, but there's the company. Pen Q. So, anyway, I'll put the link below for this one, too. Um, I want to thank them to send it to me. But um, it isn't cheap, but it, it seems to be working for me. It, it really is an effective lamp, and uh, it kind of... Um, it kind of looks the part of what it costs, and, and you could get it in different. It looks like a wood, and then all different colors. I believe even on this side shows even more colors. Yeah, and there's a blue, there's a gold. So uh, anyway, I want to show you in case you guys notice the lighting's a little different. It's because of that new lamp. Now let's pause this camera. Let me shift back and onto the test. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's get on with the test. Now this comes in a beautiful, I mean a real heavy box. Uh, the box alone screams quality. <laughs> now, I don't think it came with a manual. It didn't. Not that I need one, but it didn't. And here's what we got. And it's built really, really well. A little one cap, which I don't really use too often. But a nice big cup. It's got a, a nice plastic cap here. It's got a protective cap for the needle. It's got a, a real nice feel to it. It's um, not janky or tough at all. And I guess we have the stopper in the back. Yep. All right, let's see how we look inside here. We got seals in here. It's uh, all Teflon, I read, uh, seals and gaskets, so it's solvent resistant. The needle came out smooth. Very smooth. 
goes in nice. These are really nice fittings. This looks like my uh, GSI Creos fittings, which I have already t taken this out and checked. I've gone through it a little bit. I don't need to take it apart here for the test. But um, so far, I'm very, very impressed. And um, it's got nice uh, ridges on the handle here for a nice grip. My finger fits under here, which a lot of them, my finger just doesn't fit here at all. And it's got a nice range of motion. It's very easy to push with just the right amount of its resistance. So the quality right off the bat when I looked at it was there. And um, upon spraying it, um, it really shines through the quality. Now, over here it comes with this fitting. If you're using this type of push hose, which I do not use. So that stays there. It's got a wrench. And I forgot what this is. I think this is an extra cap. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. An extra gasket. Can you see that, baby? Put my hand up. There you go. Look at that. And I think that goes in here. Yep. And this is it's another fitting for the front, which I haven't used. And it doesn't come with any uh, instructions. So i got to download it. Let me see if it goes in here. So i got to download this for... Uh, I think this is where it goes. I'm not quite sure. But I, I think um, the manual is on their website. But it's in... Uh, it might be in Korean or Malaysia or whatever country it's from. I'm not quite sure. But after testing it, I didn't need this at all. I mean, this is this is all you need. Everything is here. Uh, so I'm not quite sure. But if you guys have this airbrush, let me know what that other nozzle is for. It could also be for this, too, when uh, that other attachment for the air compressor. Because I know the air compressor fittings are different throughout the world. Um, we use the standard 1 8 I believe, here in America. So what I'm going to do is on the bottom I have a quick release that I use on all my airbrushes. So we're going to put a quick release attachment on this. Tighten that up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to test it with four colors. Four colors. Four different types of paint. You know, I'm going to do an all clad. What do we have here? Gold titanium. We'll try this. We'll try a lacquer in a uh, Mr. Color. We'll go with GX2 Black. One of my uh, subscribers sent me this. Uh, I want to shout out and a Great, thank you. Uh, this is red. This is model air. So we're going to put this straight in, see how it handles the model air straight out of the bottle. And uh, we're going to go with, uh, to me, is acrylic lacquer, acrylic uh, solvent based paint. We're going to go with uh, X34, metallic brown. We'll see how it handles a, a true metallic paint like that. And then that's all. And then I'll go over cleaning it at the very end. We'll see how it cleans out. If you, you loosen the nozzle, blow it out, and uh, I'll show you guys how to clean it. And uh, $49, you cannot go wrong at all. I mean, you could keep this as your main airbrush. This thing is that nice. You guys are going to be impressed. So uh, let me get these mixed up and ready to go. I'll use uh, my thinners, and I'll get everything mixed up, pre-done, so you can just go color to color. And then at the end, I'll show you how to clean it. And then uh, we'll go over the results at the end. All right? We will see you at the new spray booth. And... Uh, I'll show you how great this airbrush is. All right, guys. First up, we'll go with some all-clad gold titanium. Straight out of the bottle. No thinning. We'll go, of course, on a gloss black spoon. Just load it up the cup. 20 PSI. I can lower it. When using all-clads, I like to go a little lower than that. So we'll go around 15 PSI on this. And check this out. You see the gold already? It is so, it atomizes it really good. And it goes on, I mean, just so lightly and, uh, I don't want to say gentle, but look at that. There you go. So, it handles that really well. I put some already on this black spoon. That's just a black plastic spoon. No primer at all. And look at that. Phen oh, I'm shaking. Phenomenal, guys. That's over the black plastic. That's over the black paint. I'll show you the difference at the end. 
All right, let me change up the colors. We'll come back with another color. All right, guys, next up will be Model Air Vallejo. Vallejo, that's how it, somebody told me that's how you say it. Uh, let me show you what I'm working on with my stand here. Look at this. All the different brushes, you know, and uh, it, this is great. I actually need another one because I've passed this amount, you know, on the... Uh, look at that. It holds all types, even the trigger types, which fits up here. You can adjust the angle. I will uh, put a link in the description for this baby, but that's off to the side here. You guys can't see that. All right, we put this directly in. I didn't uh, thin it, and that's how we want to test our model air. We'll go on a uh, primered white spoon, and let's see what we got. I went back to 20 PSI. Bit. Let's see what we can get for lines here. I gotta lower the air pressure, of course. Not too bad. Let's try it with a lower air pressure. From 10 and 15. Let's see what we get now. But yeah, I can go in a much closer without the air really disrupting, disrupting the paint. Look at that. This would be good for uh, pre-shading all the panel lines and joints. Not bad. And this is a point uh, three millimeter. You know. All right, let's go back up for a wider spray pattern. Back to where we go. All right, let's finish this. Look at that. Not much more to go. All right, look at that baby. All right, we'll let that dry. I'll clean this out, do another color, and at the end I'll show you how I clean it out, and I will go over the results. All right, guys, next up, Mr. Color, GX and GX2 Black. Um, this doesn't really need a primer. We'll go over a pure, bare, white plastic spoon. Uh, where are we? 20 PSI. I'm looking down at the compressor. It atomizes the paint really well. This is our first coat. This is a great black paint. You can use this for your base on your uh, chrome or any of your metalizers. It's just a great black paint. It goes on good. doesn't run. It cleans out of the gun perfect every time. Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll go over that at the end. Again, let's try uh, let's see how we put some lines on there for us. Got to go much lower here than I'm using. I think you got to go to a point two to get a real fine line. Uh, there we go. That's not bad. And you got to jack the air way down, which I don't have. I have it on twenty. Probably got to get it into about a close. But uh, it does a good job. It keeps them fine too. Look, they're not even splattered at all. Really, really good brush. Really good brush. All right, guys. Let me clean this out. Do one more color. I'll show you how I clean it out, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, last but not least, our Tamiya X34 Metallic Brown. We'll go over a white primate spoon with this. 
This is, oops, I spilled it. I never spilled it. This is uh, Thin 50-50. I find that uh, the metallics in this brush and this smaller needle need to be thinned a little further. And your air pressure a little higher. But once you get it right, the results are really good. Each air compressor is going to be a little different. Your environment, as far as uh, weather goes, will be a little different. But I think with just the right amount of tweaking, a great airbrush, particularly at the price point of 50 bucks. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to pause this, bring the camera back over to the bench. I'm going to show you how we clean it up. All right, guys, we're back at the bench on a slightly different angle. Uh, I emptied out any paint already that was unusable, uh, that I didn't use. You know, I'm going to keep it for later. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take, for this I use lacquer thinner. You can also use um, acetone, when, when, you know, according to what the paint you're using. Um, and I use these, these beautiful tight wound cotton swabs. These are for cleaning guns, believe it or not. And... Uh, I take the rounded end and I just dip it and I go around the cup on the inside. I just you want to go around the cup. That gets everything off of the sides. And you're gonna blow it out through your uh, cleaner jar. And I also like to keep paper towel nearby. You want to dunk this in. You want to absorb that dirty thinner right there. You're just gonna swirl it around. This is how you're gonna clean out the the jar we're already pretty clean look at that so what you want to do is you want to clean out the needle now and on the insides right here so you're gonna put some in again but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lid now people can cover up the end if they want to to get the bubbles but you can also loosen the cap ready check this out now this is the old way you cover it up and, and I'm really gonna push back hard to get it to bubble up the paper towel isn't doing me well I like to loosen the nozzle right here and what it does is it breaks the plane between the nozzle and the gun and it sends the air back into the cup without doing anything. Now you're back flushing it, and you're cleaning it right out. I like to dump it out in my jar because there'll be a lot of metal flakes in there because I did a, we did a metal flake the last time, right? You're going to close her up, blast her out again. I give it another quick blast, and you are clean. Now, look at that. Get our new lighting over here, and we'll show you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, you can take off the front cap this front piece here and uh, what I like to do with that is I'll dip this in here and I'll clean out the cap in here there's not much there now because I didn't spray for that long a period of time and when you're also when you're finished dip this make sure there's nothing on the outside we spilt a little bit here see it and just clean off your chrome go over it lightly it'll look like brand new now when you're done all together when you're done spraying for the day, you're going to loosen out. Keep this press while you pull it. All right, you're going to take it out. And let's put this aside. Once again, I'm going to dip this a little bit in the thinner. I'm going to roll it up. It's actually not that bad. A little bit of black on there. See the black from when we did it earlier? Didn't interfere with any of the paints, but you don't want it to build up either. You know, and go forward. Don't go backwards. You end up stabbing your thumb. All right, we're going to go back in, nice and clean. Push it so it's in. I'm going to tighten it. We got it. And that's it. Gaskets here, sealed all around. I hear no leaks when I put my ear to it over here. And that's it. It looks like it just came out of the box. All right, quick release. Put it down here. And we'll go over the paint and show you how good the results are. 
Alright guys, here we are back at the bench with the results. And um, they're quite good. Looks like any other Maya brushes did the work. Alright, let's look at the Tamiya X34. I mean, look at how smooth. If I should adjust the lighting from front to back, but now nah, lighting looks good. Our new lighting GX2, Mr. Color. Look at that. Now that's smooth a lot. I mean, it's black and it's perfect. Model Air, just plain old red. This is uh, straight out of the bottle into the cup. Now look at that. All the model air stuff is is uh, is matte. This is a smooth um, matte, not that flat, but the almost it's almost coarse. This has a smoothness to it. Really wonderful uh, color. Look at that. All clad gold titanium. This is over the black paint like that. And we got that. Look at that. This is over a black plastic spoon. I think I got these at Walmart. They just came shiny black like this. It says that eliminates the step of me using paint. So that's over the black plastic. It's a little duller. Can you see it? Hard to see on camera, I guess. It's a slightly duller. But it put out the nice light coats. I lowered it to 14 PSI or so and uh, great results now um, it's a wonderful airbrush uh, price point at 50 bucks absolutely unbeatable the build quality it's just unbeatable at that price point um, my other ones my Japanese uh, GSI's um, I like a little more they're a little more precision a little more uh, easy slightly easier to clean this took a little bit more to clean out even though uh, it did come up clean the other ones seem to uh, just a step better you know but at the price point uh, it's hard to beat um, it's really is hard to beat now I wouldn't do precision work I was doing some lines with it you've seen it but uh, um, I would stick with broader pieces uh, such as you know like this if you're gonna do an, a high grade or a master grade size kit I would stick with that you could probably even paint a car body with it, a 124th scale anyway um, it would be perfect on this stuff it just that that three mil that point three millimeter size is that perfect in between uh, size. But if you want to get one brush, that's the size I, I would go with uh, fours, fives. That, and then you're really spraying out. You're doing more of a, a primer lay down. I should have tested with a primer, but um, the results would have been just the same. I think I think it's a good airbrush for the money. You really can't beat it. I'll put a link below. I believe I got this at um, Galaxy Toys. I think I got this at Galaxy Toys. Um, if they're out of them, I'll try and look for other links. It was hard to get for a while, but now they started shipping. Um, I, I noticed them popping up everywhere. And um, it is the Model M201. And uh, that's the test. Uh, a really good airbrush at 50 bucks. I mean, a real good airbrush. Invest yourself into some of these, uh, these cotton swabs. These are really terrific uh, for cleaning up between, between jobs. You get in there, you get everything out, you go into your next color. And um, even at the end, I use the other end to clean out my caps when I pull the needle out. So I'll put a link in these below, too. You guys really should keep these. Um, they're 10 bucks. You get almost 500 of these things or 1,000. I've had the same box for a year now, so it's, it lasts a while. And uh, that's it. I think uh, it's a great airbrush. I mean, the, the results here speak for themselves. It's a great airbrush. And um, I recommend it. It's an easy recommendation, as well as this new reading lamp, which is phenomenal. Um, this is the exact opposite of this. This is more of your budget price. This is not. But uh, it really saves your eyes. And um, I didn't purchase this, so I'll see if I can find the link where this is. I believe it's on Amazon. And I'll put the link for the light also. All right, guys, that is it. I got a few more tests to come. Hopefully, I'd like to do two more this week. And I got to do the uh, Tamiya. Uh, acrylic, uh, acrylic, uh, the Tamiya um, enamel test. That's coming up. I got to do the enamel test, and I'm going to do the candy O's, and I'm going to continue my series of paints that are not hobby paints, that are more uh, artist paints and inks. We're going to test those out too. 
And uh, that's it, guys. Please like the video and subscribe below because I got a lot more to come and a lot more tests to get through. And uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, subscribing and the positive comments. It, it means a lot to me. And uh, we will see you in the next video.